Hello, I'm the Watch Monster. In this video, we're going to look at a watch by Bernhardt Watch Company. They are a micro brand watch company based in America. So this particular watch comes nicely presented in this little travel pouch. We'll just unzip it, see what's inside. So inside the pouch, we have a little instruction card, as well as a warranty card. And on this side, we have the watch itself. So let's take a closer look. And here's the watch. So this is known as the Binnacle Anchor Steel Black version. There are several other variations in the Bernhardt Binnacle Anchor range. And the first thing you may notice is it does take quite a few design cues from some famous Swiss watches. You probably see a bit of Rolex Explorer in this, maybe a touch of Longines Hydro Conquest, and possibly a bit of Ball Engineer as well. Now, what appealed to me with this watch is the nautical theme of it, me being an XC seafarer, I quite like my nautical themed watches. And as a result, I'm quite a fan of this second hand with a little anchor sticking out at the end here. So this watch is full stainless steel, 316 stainless steel. It's finished with a polished bezel. bezel and polished edges here and elsewhere it's a brushed finish. We have a signed screw down crown which is nice to see and that screw down crown operates what I think is the most impressive thing about this watch is the Miyota 9015 automatic movement that's inside. Now, considering the price of this watch, which I will come to later, I'm quite impressed they have a Miyota 9000 series movement inside because it's a lot more expensive than the typical Seiko 9-inch 35 movement you'll find in watches of a similar price point. So that's a big plus point regarding the movement in this watch. The bracelet, I'm also quite impressed with, articulates very nicely, all solid links on this. The clasp is signed. And feels very nice, very secure as well. It does feature quite a few micro adjustment slots, which is always nice to see. And the back of the watch features a display case back. Now that this could be my only criticism of the watch is that the back of the watch here seems a bit half hearted in its design. For example, the anchor here just seems a bit of an afterthought just to stick that on the uh, case back. Whereas other watches, other micro brands at this price point, I've seen have tried to decorate things by putting their logo on the rotor, which I, I think adds a bit more than just having this little anchor slapped on the uh, display back. This is also individually numbered as well which is a bit confusing because on the website it says there's only 100 total available of this watch, yet somehow I've got 206. So either the numbering is a bit weird or the website is not correct. So the price of this watch on Bernhardt's website is currently 289 US dollars, 
which works out at about £208. And that, for me, is a bit of a bargain. Also, currently on Bernhard's website, there's a 20% off discount. So, really, this makes this one of the best value micro brand watches out there, in my opinion. So, highly recommended watch. Say, the only downside to me is this case back just seems a bit half hearted in its design. Maybe a steel case back with a nice uh, nautical design on it would have been a better option. But. I understand as well they want to keep this at a very affordable price point so considering this is the side of the watch you'll see the most often I can understand uh, that decision. So I'll just cut away to a quick loom shot now and you can see what that looks like. So this is super lumen over on this watch so expect good performance from the loom and that's how it sits on my wrist so yeah I'm very pleased with this watch okay so that's it for this video very impressed with this watch for the price point highly recommended i'll see you in the next video bye for now